Hi, my name is Toby, and today on Easy Eats, we are going to be making a simple meat and cheese tray and also a little bit fancier charcuterie board. This will be for your parties or your family get togethers with just friends or um, whatever you're doing. So, for today's meat and cheese tray, we're going to be using salami, Colby cheese, white cheddar cheese, and crackers. For the charcuterie board, we're going to add strawberries, grapes, olives. For the cheese ball, the ingredients will be Philadelphia cream cheese, green onions, ranch dressing, and crushed up mini pretzels. Okay, so we're gonna start with this simple meat and cheese tray to begin with. We've got some um, Colby cheese, we've got some white cheddar, um, we have the crackers, and we have some salami. And First off, we're gonna go ahead and cut the cheese. <laughs> you can leave it in bigger slices like this, or if you wanna make it a little bit smaller, it would actually feed more people this way. And you'll just, as you cut it, just arrange it on your plate. You can really use any kind of cheese you want. Um, a lot of times you can find it at the store and it's already cut into cubes, so you can just buy those packages and use them that way. Um, you know, sometimes people like different cheeses. There's Swiss cheese, there's pepper jack. Um, there are all kinds of cheeses. So I say just get whatever you like. So that way, if you have some left over, then you're gonna like what you have left over and you can eat it for a little while. Again, you're just using a simple plate that you have at home. This you can use for, you know, just small get-togethers or if you have game nights or anything like that. Or if you're going to someone's house and maybe they tell you you don't have to bring any food, but you want to kind of bring something little to them, this is an easy way to do that. So now we've got some salami and it's already sliced. Just add a few crackers in the middle. You can also, if you want to, um, if you have toothpicks or anything like that, you can bring those so people can just use those to pick the cheese or the meat up. Any way you want to use that is okay. So you're just gonna open up the crackers and just add them. Again, however you want to add it, you don't have to make your plate like this. And there you have a really simple meat and cheese tray that you can take to anything. Okay, now we're gonna go from the simple meat and cheese tray and we're gonna make a little bit fancier charcuterie board. Um, we're gonna use some of the same things that we already have and just add to it. So we're gonna add some of the strawberries and these, you just need to wash these and you can put them on just like they are and just kind of arrange them however you wanna arrange those. We also have some grapes that we're gonna be adding to that. Um, let's maybe just take some of these grapes apart and just put small bunches on here that people might wanna be able to just pick up a small bunch of grapes and put them on their plate. So we'll just tear some of these off and just put them in small bunches here. We can take our cheese that we've already chunked. And this is a white cheddar, but you could use Swiss or hot pepper or anything you'd like to use. This is our Colby. We're gonna add some olives. You'll want to drain these out of the jar and this just dump them in a bowl. That way you don't get kind of your olive juice and everything all mixed in together. So again, I'm just gonna kind of put this here somewhere and we'll kind of decide what we wanna do with those. Um, something else we're gonna have are pretzels and you can just put the mini pretzels into whatever kind of container you have and just sit those on the board as well. 
ahead with the salami. And we'll set the crackers up right here. We're gonna add um, a little thing of toothpicks also because people are gonna use those to pick everything up. Again, wherever you think it might be best, maybe over here. We're gonna make a very simple cheese ball that you can add to your charcuterie board. Um, you will just need eight ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese, um, an eighth of a cup of chopped green onions, ranch dressing, you'll need about a half of a tablespoon. And then if you would like, you can also crush some pretzels up and put that on top of that before you serve it. You'll wanna make sure that the Philadelphia cream cheese is soft. Just put that into the board. Just put that into the bowl. <laughs> Your ranch dressing. About a half of a tablespoon. Just put that in there also. You'll want to cut a green onion up. And you can use all of the green onion because you'll want some of this greenery mixed in with the cheese ball and that'll make it look really cute. You can go ahead and add it. You can also double this recipe if you would like in case you're having a little bit bigger group at your party or your game night, whatever you're having. And then just mix this all together. This is why you wanna make sure that your cream cheese is softened. You can also use a hand mixer if you have it at home. Sometimes people will add things like um, chopped up bacon or more maybe shredded cheese. You can add anything that you like to this recipe and make it your own. So once you have this all mixed together, um, you can do it different ways. You can roll it up like this and put it on saran wrap. You could go ahead and put it into a little bowl that you wanna use to make it a little bit more decorative. You can do it any way that you would like to do it. Um, and you'll just put it like this. And if you want, some people even make them into logs. So however you want to do that, and then just roll it up and you can shape it then. And I like that into a, a cheese ball. And again, if you want um, something that's bigger than this, depending on how many people you're having, double this recipe and you'll be all set. So for this size cheese ball, we're gonna use just a handful of the small pretzels and you're, we're gonna crush them up so we can um, use those to put on top of the cheese ball. So you just put them in the plastic bag like that. This way you don't have crumbs and everything all over the place. And then just take whatever you have at home. Um, right now we're gonna use a glass, um, but whatever you have at home, and you just wanna crush them up into small pieces. I think that's good. So they'll come out like this. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. We took the cheese ball out of the refrigerator and we're gonna take the crushed pretzels. Um, again, you can, if you like any kind of a nut or anything like that, that you want to roll this in, you can use those as well. You don't have to use the pretzels. And I'm gonna use the plastic wrap because this is still a little bit soft. And you just kind of roll it around in the pretzels until you get it covered. All right, and then we're just gonna put that right here in the middle. It's gonna slide a little bit on me right now, but that's okay. You can always, depending on how big of a group that you're gonna um, have eating off of this, you can add more. You can make this a little bit smaller and um, 
Just to add a little bit less to it, it all depends on what you've got going on and what you wanna do. So here's your charcuterie board. Remember, you can do it simply um, as a meat and cheese tray, or you could do it a little bit more fancy, however you wanna do it. Thank you for joining us on Easy Eats. It's got the CH, so I wanna always say char, but I think it's char, char. right? Charcuterie. Charcuterie. Okay. Shark. Charcuterie, right? <laughs> you tell me. Is that I what don't you know. said? Or chark? What'd you say? 